Hey there folks, welcome to Bubba Roundtree Outdoors. You, all you guys know Mr. Heath Stokes, if you watch the, uh, the dog hunting videos. Fabulous young man, great young hunter. This is his, yield is A71 that he shoots all the time. Been shooting for the last several years. Well, he had a major malfunction with it. It jammed on him turkey hunting the other day and then lost all functionality. Uh, I've heard from several subscribers that have had the same problem. I've never been into one of these, so we're going to tear into it and we're going to see what malfunction in this thing may help a lot of you guys out that have this shotgun. Stand by. Folks, y'all see that trigger spring right there? Heath Stokes yield is, is seems like this has been a common problem. I've heard from a couple of subscribers that have had very similar problems with their yield is. One of them was brand new. It jammed whenever he was checking a turkey load and then it wouldn't do anything. Trigger wouldn't pull, release buddy wouldn't work, nothing would work. Pull the trigger, no click, no nothing. Well see, this trigger spring has come off the base right here. I don't think it's broken, but it has come off the base. I'm gonna see if I can get this thing fished up out of here and see if I can get it back on the base and then I will get back with you guys. Stand by. Okay, folks, I'm gonna, I've got Rachel. Rachel just came in here now. I'm gonna see if I can do this while she is here to help. I'm gonna try to fish this spring up out of here and see if we can get it back on its base. These are very, very small tools that I'm dealing with here, too. Thinking what's going to be easier is I'm going to see if I can get this off of that stud there. Pull the spring up. Do it like this. And uh, let's do it like this. Slide it on here. There. back on there now trying to figure out why it wouldn't uh, that's gonna be this is the hammer right here that's part of the sear maybe that was just the sear spring I don't know I, I this is the first time I've ever had the yield is broken down let me see let me see now if we got some spring pressure take the safety off we got some spring pressure at the there we go. Yep, it just released the sear that time. That's going to be the sear spring. Okay, it just yep, it's working now. Yep, but that's what had happened. That sear spring had just come off. And, uh, he said he had a um, had a jam, not a misfire. He had a jam uh, shooting at a turkey. And then after that, that killed it. Whenever that, that spring come off, nothing's gonna work. But folks, this bolt, I imagine we have to drive this pin out right here to get the firing pin out. I'm not doing that. There's, there's only a couple of pieces to this thing. The firing pin is moving good. We're just gonna, I'm gonna hit this with some boiling water. We're gonna clean this up. I am not gonna pull that pin out and pull this firing pin completely out. It just needs a real, real good cleaning, I believe. We're going to hit it with some boiling water. Going to make sure that this puppy is oiled up and we'll reassemble it. Y'all stand by.
gas operated shotgun. A71 is a gas operated shotgun. Rimmel. Main spring. I depress the release button over here. All right. Back one is lined up. I get to there's two pins. Side the table, yeah. Yep, that one is started good. Get just a little bit to get the get the hole to line up. There we go. Get, did I get the other one? Nope. I thought I had gotten both of them out of there, but I didn't. That boiling water strips all that crap off of this thing. I've never seen anything like the yield is before. This is the first time, folks, that I've even been into one. I'd heard a lot of stuff about them. They're great guns. Rail. There you go. See how it just slides over the rail, just like that, folks. I didn't pull the ball apart. Didn't feel the need to. Right here. See that? That hooks. It's part of the gas charging system hooks on the end just like that. I'm going to lube this up a little bit, clean it up a little bit more. Didn't see it come down. Y'all just see me go back with it. If I can get it on there. There we go. Now y'all can see it and I can get, get this thing reassembled here. All right. See, just get everything lined up. Slide your bolt back in. Charging handle. If I can see what I'm doing. There we go. I'll make sure I don't know if that thing's down in there. All the way or not. Yep, yep, it's locked in. All right. Just like that. Now. This is your gas piston right here. I'm gonna clean this bad boy up just, just as good as we can. Got two years of crud on it. He told me he he didn't think he cleaned it in two years, and it just kept on running. It's cleaning up good. I'm just using a little bit of rim oil. up good 
It's got like piston rings here. So you wanna make sure all of that is lubed up well. Goes into channel right here in the barrel. See how that piston slides up into that channel right there? That's where your gas ports are coming from the barrel right here. So that's how that piston slides up into the barrel right there. I'll get this cleaned up. We'll get it put back together. All right, we'll go hit it with some. Hit it with some ram on. I say your piston goes up in there just like this. Just like that. All right. Had to lock that bolt all the way back. There we go. All right. There we go. Whew. Like I said, folks, y'all coming right along with me. This is the first time I've ever had an A71 completely torn down like this. Well, you've got that gun all on your hand, it makes everything Drop, slick. Dropping stuff everywhere. Safety works good. All right, let's see. Should be able to press in the release buddy and get it to lock. Okay, there we go. Yep. Okay, now. Now the release buddy is going in and it's locking back. There we go. All right. That's what we couldn't get it to do. And also do a dry fire, make sure we hear it click. Just like that, it should lock back. Hammer is cocked. All right, only thing left to do now is test fire this rascal. Okay, folks, all this is is a test drive of Heath's yield is after we fixed it. I've got a real light Winchester, one ounce uh, game load like you get from Walmart, and three hot high brass reloads um, that would probably be considered more like pheasant loads right here that we're going to run, and his yield is. We're just going to make sure that she drives good. That's all we're going to do. Stand by. I'm going to run the light load first. We're going to go ahead and put it in the barrel, and we're going to put our three hot reloads following it. He's got a plug in it. Thought I heard a plug in it. So, anyway. Okay, so we'll run three rounds, which is going to be one light field load and two hot reloads. All right. Hopefully, we've got that. We'll see what happens here. She drives good, Heath. All right, we're going to call that one fixed. Appreciate y'all riding along with me with this uh, Yield Is A71. First time i ever been into one to see how these things work. But evidently, that sear spring popping off is a common problem with these shotguns. I've heard from several subscribers that have run into this, have a have a jam or something like that, then the gun just won't function. It won't click, won't, won't lock back, release buddy doesn't work, nothing works. But when we tore into it, I think we found out what's happening with it. Hope this helps you guys out. This is Wade with the BRO channel. We'll be back with a lot more soon, guys. Bye-bye.